Hello everyone, this is David from Gold Star Tune and we are at the booth. Oh, right now they have to make the announcement. It's okay. It's cool. We like it. You know, you gotta, we're not gonna do retake. It's real. It's real. Wolf Industries. We're at their booth. They make beautiful scissors and they make one of the best scissor sharpener. And this gentleman right here is Alan. Alan, take it away. How you doing guys? Like you said, my name is Alan with Wolf Industries. I'm here to show you a little bit about our twice as sharp scissor sharpener. Um, to start, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our clamp here. Now, the pair of scissors that I'm gonna be sharpening here in just a second, the bevel of both blades is 35 degrees. So I've already got my clamp preset to those 35 degrees. So to start, I'm gonna make sure that I've got the, ang the, the, the clamp up the right way. So you see here, it says hone. I wanna make sure that I can read sharpen. So I'm gonna take this sharpen side up, set it right in my clamp here, lock it in. So it's easy, it's in there. And I'm gonna grab my pair of scissors. I'm gonna start by clamping this blade first. And the way I'm kind of measuring it is I'm laying my finger across the blade there. And I'm just gonna lay that right into here. Tighten oh, it down. The sharp, sharpen the back and the sharpen part. Right exactly, here. so I've got it where when I press it up against this stone, the bevel, the sharpening sharp, sharp side is gonna actually remove metal to bring that edge back. Right. So I'm gonna look, make sure that my scissor is even. I'm gonna adjust it just a tad, tighten it down. So I've got it in there really nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my machine, let it spin up, and then I'm gonna stand right here. And while supporting the scissor, I'm gonna touch all the way at the back of the throat and go all the way down. Just a nice smooth pass like that. And I'm gonna do one more. Now what I'm looking for is I wanna feel a burr raised all across that blade. Now, if I can feel from the, the very back to the very tip, that burr, I know I've got a new edge. That's exactly what I want. So at that point, I need to sharpen the other blade. I'm gonna go ahead and unmount, flip it around, and do the exact same thing on this side. Again, make sure that you've got fairly even from tip to handle, nice and tight. And then I'm right back on my sharpening stone here. One pass, two passes, and again, I wanna check for that burr all along the blade. If I've got an even burr all the way across, I then wanna take this scissor out. So before we go to the next step, I yes, got sir. a couple of questions. Ask away. You said 35 degrees. Yes, sir. How do you know what degree? I mean, so, you have a bunch of scissors here. These are, I mean, first of all, does it matter what type of scissors are the scissors that you kind of sharpen? So the, you can sharpen just about any scissors. Now I'm actually gonna introduce David real quick, mm. one of the owner of the industry, the company who wants to add a little bit to it. Okay, um, David, go ahead. Okay, go ahead and remove the burr. So one of the steps that we wanna do now is that we've got to separate these blades. Mm -hmm. Because if I was to close this now, I'm damaging the scissor. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put my fingers here and I'm pulling towards me and I'm pushing with my thumb to separate those blades. Because if I was to just close, uh -huh. all that work I just did is gone. I then press them together. One more time. Do that one more time. Try good. Absolutely. Yeah, so you should do that three or four times. Yes. Pull here, push here, and open up, and then press closed, mm -hmm. and do it again. So what that's doing is that metal that I've raised up, and I'm working it back and forth to, to weaken it. So when I go to remove that burr, it comes off very very easy. So I've done that. I can close those scissors now, and I'm going to do a test cut with four layers of fabric. So cuts fine, cuts easy, but we can do better than that. So we're gonna go to eight layers. I'm gonna cut eight layers. So you see how it's rolling over now, yeah. it doesn't wanna cut? That's where the next step comes in. So I'm gonna open these back up, get that fabric out of there, and I'm gonna hone one of these blades. So still, I want sharpen side up mm -hmm. to mount the scissor. I'll put it inside of here, mount it like I've talked about before, nice and tight make sure it's even now i'm lifting this back out mm -hmm. moving the arm over here and flipping the clamp over so now you see right there it says hone i'm on the honing setup uh -huh. i then take it to my compressed cotton wheel and i'm going to add that polish to it now adding this polish makes things like slide cutting um, whether you're cutting fabric whether you're cutting protein 
makes it so much easier to use. So now it's a highly polished edge. Mm -hmm. And now we're just a second ago, I was having all that trouble with that eight layers of fabric. Let's do that cut again. Let's show you what the difference is when doing additional fabric layers with a... Wow. But you don't need to do this for both sides, only you do one. So you can. I'll let David add a little depends. bit more If you're cutting, slide cutting, you want to polish both blades. If you're doing a slippery material like a silk, a nylon that slides when you cut it, you want to leave the bottom blade rough to catch the material so it slides and the top blade will chop through it cleanly. And there's even 16 layers of cloth. Wow. Cut and like nothing, all the way up to you got even the hand shrink, but you can see how much. My Just with that. Honing the blade will do a lot of extra work for you, making it much, much more useful. So, question number one. Why 35 degrees? How do you know what degree? Well, this this shear we do uh, for for primarily in cutting poultry and chicken. Yeah. And 35, we found it holds up real well. Mm -hmm. uh, these are knife edge over here. Mm -hmm. That's a very steep angle on that. You can see a very sharp angle. Mm -hmm. So a knife edge usually has one flatter blade and then one that's much steeper. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of times the fabric shear will be done that way. Now, I, I don't have one on hand with me, mm -hmm. but one of the things that comes with this machine when you purchase it is an, a, an angle gauge. Yes. So if you have scissors that you're uncertain about, mm -hmm. you can actually take that tool to measure the angle. Oh, yeah. So you know exactly where to set this here. Yeah. Question and, number two. How? And if you're, if you're doing a kid scissor, that's not a kid scissor, but that's you, want, fabric, it, you yeah. want it at Pocket zero scissor, degree. Right? A zero. Yeah, but if you're doing kid scissors, you want them at zero degree, which is perfectly flat like across there. Like a safety there. scissor. Like a safety scissor. And how, I saw you, when you're pressing it against the stone, how much, how, you press really hard? I mean, Not at all. It's very, very light pressure. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you want to yeah. do is remove as little material as possible mm -hmm. so that your the longevity of your scissors, you can get as much use out of them as you possibly can. So light pressure here, when you get to the middle of the wheel, you, you remove your tip if you come off, you may knock your tip off. Mm -hmm. You may bounce it. You, you move there in only one direction, but over here, this wheel's compressed cotton with an abrasive in it. Mm -hmm. And there you press down hard, and that yes. gives you the polish, and it micro sharpens. So these are made in USA? Absolutely. They're yes. made in South Carolina. South Carolina. The, the motor is Taiwan. We have the molds for it. And then all, all the other parts we manufacture in South Carolina and assemble it there. What the machine come? I mean, we sell it on our website, goldstartool.com. Right. And we actually have a good price. You have a good price. To four, you know, you yeah, said four ninety nine. Shipping four dollars and ninety nine cents shipping only. Right. And what comes inside the box? I open one up, and I want you to tell Absolutely. everyone. You want to take it, that one? Yeah. Dave? It, of course, you get the sharpener and the clamp. Mm -hmm. it comes with an angle gauge. Mm -hmm. it comes with a little poster that says "Scissor Sharpened Here." Mm -hmm. Uh, it has scissor lubricant, right. which is an alcohol base with a wax in it. So it cleans the scissor, especially if there's any sticky on it. But it leaves a wax film so you don't get oil transferring to your fabric. A couple of the other tools that come yeah. with it. You have your, your, your truing stone. So let's say you, who's been using this machine, they're rounding off the corner. Yes. And you want to put it back to true, put it back mm. to flat. You have this to be able to do that with. Right. Uh, and then one of the most useful things that I think it comes with is a training DVD that teaches you how to use the machine. And a goggle, no? It does come safety with safety glasses, goggles as well. Mask. Safety goggle, mask. And, and the pink ceramic home, which if it got nicks from like cutting a pin, mm -hmm. you want to run that down the flat on the inside of the blade and that takes the nicks of the blade, out of the blade. Yeah, we, we, we love twice that shop. We sell it and uh, both. We have two retail stores in downtown LA. We sell them in both stores and on our website, goldstartool.com. This is a great product. One more, last question. Replacement for the stones. You have them? Yes. Uh, absolutely. You absolutely. got them. Yeah, and they should buy them through you. They should buy them through me. <laughs> One more thing. <laughs> is there any other uh, sharpening stone? And what about knives? Can you sharpen knives? We don't recommend doing a knife because a knife is a double bevel. Mm -hmm. and the angle has to be held exactly. So we do not recommend doing a knife. So no knives, but... No knife. This wheel, if you have a buffing wheel, a lot of sewing machine, sewing machine repairmen want to polish the needle hook because mm -hmm. it gets little burrs on it. They use the, that wheel to clean the needle hook up, the, uh, the needle plate up. So I promise you this is going to be the last question. <laughs> uh, if anybody has wants to do other things, like other, the, the other stones that you think is... 
We have coarse. We have we have diamond wheels. We have a real coarse wheel for doing lawnmower blades. You can put a lawnmower blade in here because it's a single bevel. Uh, we have diamond wheels all the way from 240 grit all the way to 800 grit. Those are typically done for high-end beauty shears. We have a polishing wheel that you can put a polishing compound and get a mirror finish if you want and need a scissor like that. We but also have. Yeah, we also ahead. have variations of this clamp here. Mm -hmm. Whether you're wanting something with a narrower, like a narrower clamp, mm -hmm. or if you want something more ergonomic, let's say you want something more comfortable to hold, we do have an ergonomic version as well. Well, okay. So you could you you have it. Absolutely. You could call us at goldstartool.com and uh, go to our website. Obviously, it's a great great uh, product. We, we love it, and uh, we want you guys to have it. And you like you could screw it down to a table, to a bench. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Alan, and thank you, David, and thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much. And please go on our website, goldstartool.com, and uh, buy one of these things today. Thank you. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Bye.